All right, tiny dream team. Tammy's supposed to be videotaping me so you can see my happy smiling face, but she's got involved in a conversation with the salesman. So I'm going to videotape and talk at the same time. But we were driving through Albertsville, Alabama, and we came across this tiny home at Cabco Home or Cabco Homes and they are selling this for a builder. This is not a RV park model. It's not certified as an RV. It is a tiny home on wheels. And this home is custom built by a custom home builder out of Abbeville, Alabama. And they had some downtime in their home building and the owner decided he wanted to take a chance, take a shot on building a tiny home. And this is a extremely unique because it's a one-off, one of a kind. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful home. It's done interior with the craftsman style molding, just a square blocky molding, as you see on the floors and around the windows and doors. This has the exterior features of a metal roof, concrete siding, the hardy board. And as you can see, your living room has lots of interior space. They thought this through with the two windows here with the transom. And I'm trying to avoid the glare of the sun, but these are reliable windows that are uh, vinyl, vinyl clad. Reliable series 150 single home windows. But you've got a large wall there where you can put your TV, fireplace, whatever you want with the upper window there. Your mini split unit there, your first one. And in this home, you have a nice U-shaped kitchen, granite countertops, and that is the exact same granite we have at our house. Um, underneath here, you have your A.O. Smith tankless water heater and access to this side of storage for whatever you'd like. And this living room has, as I always like to say, you have the hangover bar, the bar that hangs over. So you could put two, three stools here for dining or as we saw on the outside, and I'll walk back over to the door. You have a nice, good sized porch with the Trek type decking. The six by six cedar posts and the metal handrail. Now they've moved the metal handrail around a little bit just for safety reasons and access here on the lot, but it would have uh, one opening, presumably there in the front where you would actually have your rail affixed because you don't want your steps going down there but you would access like i did over to the to the left but you've got solid wood ceilings you've got a nice ceiling fan in here this is a lofted unit <clears throat> but you've got plenty of dining room and living room space in this room they thought that through this is a metal solid metal ladder to the loft that's bolted to the floor. This is vinyl flooring that is the lock type. It's not sheet vinyl. It is the, uh, not peel and stick, anything like that. This is the one that you put in the luxury vinyl type flooring. But going back into your kitchen, you have a nice sized refrigerator and a nice shelf above right there you have your over the range microwave that's a frigidaire and you have a nice frigidaire glass top cooking surface does not have a dishwasher so i would become the dishwasher uh, you have a double bowl Undermount 
sink. This is very, very similar to the one in our home. And you've got your gooseneck faucet. You got plenty of cabinet space in here. You got the one over the rain over the microwave and a cabinet here. You have under the sink cabinets. And then you have these three drawers. Now these units are not soft close the doors or the drawers but you can install those hinges yourself if that's something you'd have to have you have a couple open shelves that are fixed so they're not going to flop around they're screwed in at the bottom that was a really nice pretty finish like a redwood walnut or something real ceramic tiles and some hooks for your favorite cups along there but here's your view from the kitchen looking into your living room and if you wanted you could fit a larger taller refrigerator you don't have a ton of space on each side but you have that's probably three inches there on the right side and another inch on the left and you have at least a foot and a half almost two feet above so you could get a, a bigger fridge if that wasn't going to work for you one of the neater features i have seen now i'm going to tell you ahead of time this is nothing to the quality of the builder it's just this home hasn't been set up so they haven't put this all in tracks but it's it's meant to be on tracks that slide in and out but right now it doesn't work exactly as it's supposed to but these are two pull-out pantries. And as you can see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves for storage of your, your goods, your dry goods. And there's another one here, does the same thing, pulls out. Now, like I say, it's not set correctly on the tracks. They do that when they set it up. But you have plenty of space and these shelves are adjustable. As you can see, they're not that heavy when they work correctly, but they haven't been set up. So don't be discouraged by that. Then through here, you have sort of the shiplap design with this as being real wood. It's painted on the surface, but the cracks are left unfinished, which gives it a real nice kind of farmhouse feel. In your hallway, this is really cool feature of this one. We've talked about this before. But this one has your room for your appliances, your washer and dryer stackable unit, and that's great. But it also has a built-in desk, and that is a very, very cool feature. The desk has three drawers, place for your stool to go under, your chair. This is finished with the same wood and butcher block that's been stained very same same stain color as what's in the kitchen on the open shelves and you have a nice little window transom type slider for light natural light and then you have a led light above it now talking to the salesperson here at the lot the gentleman who built this has given him a build sheet and they have 90,000 in materials for this home and they are asking 110 so they're asking for twenty thousand dollars more than what they got into it and the build sheet was before they even put the appliances in but you get these appliances you get the stackable you get your range and you get your microwave so you get your appliances plus you get the refrigerator so I would say probably about $3,000 appliance package included, maybe a little bit more. I mean, a stackable is probably about 1500 bucks. Stove is probably about 600, so that's 21. Your microwave is about five, so that's 26. And then your refrigerator is probably seven. So thirty-two, thirty-three $3,300 worth of appliances included so they're ninety three thousand into this house and they're asking 110 your bathroom you got a pocket door same granite 
carried throughout. It's got your porcelain sink and matching fixture for your vanity. Your vanity has an access panel here to get to your plumbing if you need it, but there's no storage there. Of course, you have storage here. And like I said, not soft closed. This is a uh, raised toilet, so that is what we call seat height toilet. They give you the additional cabinet here. It's very spacious and roomy. Nice, that's an upgraded toilet. I mean, it's a round front and has sort of a fancy uh, top. So that's a little bit of an upgrade of a toilet, not just a standard old cheap $150 toilet. Then over here to your shower, you've got the pan and then the tile inside. And it's got nice little Riverstone cutout backed for storing your soap or your shampoos or whatever you like. And it's got the big rain shower head. And it's got a nice LED light in your shower. And this beautiful sliding glass door, which they've got it secured for transport, so I won't be able to show you, but it's a Lotus with uh, easy clean glass, which <laughs> glass tends to get funky sometimes with hard water. But uh, you also get a fan with a light and another LED light over the sink. So let's back back out into the hallway. And again, we're back where the desk and the washer and dryer is. And we're gonna walk into the master. Now the master again is closed off with a pocket door. And that's a five panel, if I counted right, yeah, five panel. <laughs> it's a five panel pocket door. It gives you that farm kind of farmhouse craftsman look uh decent size um master in actuality the only challenge like we've seen before is you pretty much got one place to put your bed and that is on this wall but you've got plenty of light coming in you've got your uh <clears throat> two windows up there that open and slide and you've got a large window here on the back side and on the outside tour i just didn't show the back side but it's just really just going to be that window you get a ceiling fan back here that's the same as the one in the front again you've got four led lights above plus the light in the ceiling fan and your other mini split unit is right here and then you've got plenty of closet space in this unit it has one barn style sliding door, and I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see that. It does not have two. So like Tammy and I discussed, you're going to have to make one side of your closet really nice and neat. And of course they went ahead and gave you these shelves in here, which have a just, you know, a certain amount of adjustability to them they're locked in with small little screw things so they're pretty solid so when they move they don't uh this one is not i'm sorry i'm saying things out of order this is a fixed shelf this is a fixed shelf but these you've got two shelves that can move and i'm pretty sure this one's fixed yes so that's just a unit they purchased and put together i think um i don't think they built that but You've got a nice uh, closet rod here. This is a metal closet rod, solid metal. You're not going to get any bending or flexing when you put too much clothes. That's a really nice feature as opposed to those old wooden closet rods that cost $1.50 a foot and then they bend when you put three pair of jeans on them. Same thing on this side. They provided you with some touch-up paint that will come with your house. This one has a shelf here. It has your metal closet rod. No closet rod in top. You do have a plug in there for anything you would want to do. I think the intent here, and I'll show you there's a big LED light there. I think the intent here 
<clears throat> is that shelf is intended to you utilize as like a television. You put your television in there, you plug it up to the power, and you leave the door open. The other side would be your primary closet area. However, if you get creative, you can put another closet rod up at the top here and get put your pants up there. I always say shirts on the top and pants on the bottom. Here you can put your shirts and dresses on the bottom and put you another closet right across the top and put your pants up there if you're tall enough or just fold a bunch of stuff up put your shoes whatever you want to here leave the door closed and then over here you just use more storage for clothes and put your television up there or you can do whatever you want you can put another closet rod right up here you know you've got that flexibility your house your decisions your choices but that is the main floor of this house. Uh, this house is not certified as RV park model. It is a official home. They build it just like they build their homes. So it would be a tiny home on wheels. And the $110,000 price tag includes delivery and setup on your lot. And we have a nice pendant light with the four bulbs that look like candles hanging down from the beautiful beautiful wood ceiling and i'm going to take you up i did a quick little video a minute ago i don't know if i'll edit it in or if i'll just take you up right now up these metal stairs but the way my leg has been feeling i feel good enough to climb these stairs and show you around the loft and i'll be honest with you I feel way more comfortable climbing this metal ladder than I do some of the wooden ladders and stairs in some of these tiny homes. This may not be ideal for a bunch of children, but if you're with them and you help them up and down as they're getting you know, more stable to climbing, like our grandson, he's almost four, uh, this wouldn't be a challenge for him, but the two-year-olds, yeah, I wouldn't want them climbing up and down. But as your grandkids get older, this loft offers plenty of space. It is about one third or less of the home size. And I'll show you this because it's open all the way here, cathedral ceilings, all the way from the front door, all the way to the kitchen. Well, it's cathedral ceilings throughout, but what I'm saying is the loft starts right where the kitchen is and only goes the length of that hallway because back here in your master, you don't have a loft above you. You have the full cathedral ceiling. So your loft is only, trying not to pan too fast. Your loft goes from right here where I'm at to right there where the, uh, beginning of the wall is where the pull-out pantries are which is plenty to put a couple of <clears throat> twin beds or something up there if you want or even double i mean shoot it's the whole width of the house so you could theoretically put two king-size beds up there if you wanted to give your grandkids a place to hang out with you for the weekend or something or if their family came over plenty of room for them to spend the night you can put two king beds up there and or a bunch of twins or whatever you can afford. But let's walk up this ladder. And it's one of my spots right here, one of my favorites. And this isn't cheap builder grade carpet. This is really padded. It's a nice, nice carpet. Um, but you can see this loft. You have a hookup over there for the television cable if you use that you've got windows on each side of the loft and you've got three LED lights up here you've got receptacles over on that wall two receptacles on the back wall a receptacle and a oh I'm sorry I thought that was TV that's that's just a light switch that's where your light switch is 
So there you go. I'm about done looking at this house. I hope you've enjoyed it, tiny house team, or tiny dream team. We, we appreciate it. And you guys have a good rest of your day, evening, night, weekend, wherever you are, whenever you're watching. See ya.